In this next video, I'm going to show you how to foam roll your hamstrings. So your hamstring muscles are these guys right here. They're in charge of flexing the knee, but also too, they extend the hip. All right, so to do this, I like to hit the inner, middle, and outer hamstrings. So to do the inner, if I'm doing my right side, I'm on my left hand. Notice I'm taking this leg and I'm sort of putting it into Indian style. My toe rolls in and that exposes the, my inner thigh to the roller. So going back and forth like so. The weight is on my left hand, my left foot, and through the roller, going back and forth. Then I can start to roll my foot upward. I'm getting a little bit more central now. I can come up a little bit higher on the roller. I might dig in right under the cleft of my cheek here. Often we have some knots up in there. That's right where the hamstrings attach. Working up like that. Then to transition more to the outside, I'll go down to my right hand like I just did. Going back and forth like this. I might get on an area that hurts a little bit and then I can roll my foot in and out back and forth. I'm actually not, it's not so much the foot that's rolling, but really my hip, which is controlling it. That can help mash out some of those knots, just back and forth like that. And then I always like to finish with ironing it out. You can't do any really active release here from this position. It's just not conducive to do it with the foam roller. About, about one to two minutes. If you want a little demonstration of how to do it on the other side, here goes, or you can just cut the video there. But this can be a little confusing, so why don't I show you on both sides? So I'll start on my inner hamstring again here. So my foot points inward, I'm on my right hand, my left leg is on the roller. So going on to the inner hamstring, the weight is on my right foot there, the foam roller, and my right hand. I'll start to transition more to the middle. So now I'm a little bit more in the middle. I can do a little of that mashing back and forth. Notice how I planted my left hand here as I'm starting to go more towards the outside. I'm not going to go too high because I don't want to hit my transmitter there. Back and forth like that. Okay, so that's how you foam roll your inner, middle, and outer hamstrings.